We've saved them from extinction, but there's still more to do to keep them safe. Officials are urging the community to be more aware near Nene nesting sites after an incident this weekend. Alina Lee has more. In the 1950s, there were only about 30 Nene. Now, Hawaii is home to almost 3,000, according to wildlife experts. Nene are also found nowhere else in the world. They separated from Canada geese about a million years ago. So they are their own unique species endemic to Hawaii. Um, they're the only remaining goose species. It's still tough for these birds to reach adulthood, especially when their favorite nesting areas are near the well-maintained grassy areas of golf courses and parks. The State Department of Land and Natural Resources says lowland habitats are also preferable because of the warmer climates. We saw a man with his dog. The dog's nose was in the bushes where the nests were. Um, we tried calling out to him to stop, uh, to pull his, his dog back. Nothing was happening. Following the incident last weekend, one Nene egg was destroyed and another potentially cracked. These birds nest once a year. So if this nest fails, we have to wait a whole nother year before we are able to add more birds to the Gila population. Experts say relocating the Nene is not what is best for their survival. At this park, this is their native habitat. This is where Nene have the highest success rate for nesting. And to be honest, they tried moving this bird and it flew back. <laughs> they would never recover their habitat. Uh, we're basically not giving them a choice of where to live and we create much less wild population of birds. According to officials, to prevent Nene from getting used to humans, you should never feed them, keep your pets leashed, and admire from afar. Those who endanger or disturb Nene can be subject to fines up to tens of thousands of dollars. Older people, they, they never thought to be able to see a Nene in a Hilo park again. It's really, it's, it, it's something that everybody should, should appreciate. Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.